Happy Sunday, y'all. Okay, so today I want to talk about um, getting caught in Satan's snare because that can happen to anybody, the best of us, even ones that um, think that we're above it, right? Some of us have that pride. <laughs> I'm one of those. Um, and so recently I've fallen into uh, getting caught in that snare. And I want to talk about the importance of getting out of it and how to get out of it and how to heal from it and find peace. Because a lot of times when we make poor decisions, um, it's hard for us to, even after we've repented, it's hard for us to find peace. Okay. So this morning I was praying and asking for help, asking for guidance and heavenly father told me he used the word snare. He said, you were caught in Satan's snare. And I said, okay, well, I've heard that before. So what do I do? How do I get out of this? How do I find peace? And he told me to go on YouTube and to look up what it looks like when an animal is caught in a snare. And I said, okay. So I went into that and I found this really cool video. I don't have permission to share. Um, <laughs> this man did not give me permission, but I'll link all of, I'll link his channel down below, or if you want to watch the video, cause he's a hunter. Okay. But I thought that this was really, really um, fascinating. So he wants to release the animal from the snare, right? And it's a deer. And so he, he walks up on the deer and the deer just kind of freaks out, right? Just starts trying to get out of the snare, trying to get away from this man. And he says to the deer, he says, you know, hey, buddy, it's okay. I'm here to help, you know, trying to calm him down. But the deer um, is scared and it just wants to run, run away, right? And so likening that to ourselves, isn't it true that sometimes we do that where we've made this poor decision and in our minds, we think I need to repent. I need to go to the savior. But instead, after we have that thought, we feel shame and guilt. And then we run from him, even though he wants to pull us out of that. So in the video, what this man does is he goes and covers the deer with a jacket to calm the deer, right? So let's open up our scriptures real quick before we end this story of what this, this hunter is able to do with this deer. So we're going to open to the Book of Mormon, um, Alma chapter 34. Therefore, may God grant unto you, my brethren, that ye may begin to exercise your faith unto repentance, that ye begin to call upon his holy name, that he would have mercy upon you, Yea, cry unto him for mercy, for he is mighty to save. Yea, humble yourselves and continue in prayer unto him. So I, I love that because, you know, with this deer, this hunter has, has covered that deer, just like the Savior has already covered for all of our sins, right? He's there to help us, to get us out of that snare, and those sins have already been covered. We just have to remember that he is mighty to save, mighty to save. It's that simple. So in this video, the hunter covers the deer and he, he cuts, he gets those wire cutters out and he cuts him loose from the snare and he keeps the jacket on him and then he walks away. Well, the deer stays there and doesn't leave. And the man kind of snickers and has a smile on his face and he's like, this deer doesn't know that he's already free. All he has to do is get up and leave, right? And so sometimes we do that, you know, we repent, but then we stay in that sin in the guilt and shame of it instead of just getting up and walking away. And our savior, I'm sure is smiling and saying, you're covered. That's covered. Just get up and walk away. And that's why I love that verse there where, where it says, um, humble yourselves and continue in prayer unto him because Satan wants to make us feel like you're mine. I have you. You're still in the snare. I've got you and put on all of that guilt and shame, but that's not what our savior wants for us. He's there and he's already released us from that snare. It's the sin was already covered. We just have to get up and walk away. And I know that if we continue in prayer and humble ourselves, he's going to help us to do that. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, amen.